there's more stuff in here. Hello and welcome back to my reading corner. Thank you so much for joining me again for another unboxing. So if this is the first time you are watching an unboxing on this channel, please head on over to the video where I explain how my rating system works because I will not be explaining it throughout the video to keep the unboxing videos a little bit shorter in future. Fingers crossed that that actually works. Before I get into opening the box, please make sure that you just hit subscribe to my channel for all the future unboxings. Today we are looking at the Fairy Lude. I think this is one of the more popular and more well-known ones out there. And I'm excited to take a look at this one. After seeing what the theme of the box this month is, I kind of knew which book we're getting. And I think this one's gonna be a January favorite in a, quite a few boxes. So let's take a look at the Fairy Lude. The Fairy Lude ships from the UK and costs 26 Great British Pounds. Take a look at the cost of your country, including shipping, on the screen right now. The box we're looking at is the January box and the genre of the box is always YA fantasy. There are no options to choose. Let's get into it. So as always you will receive the first look and what do you see? First thing we see is the spoiler card with the beautiful artwork of this month's theme which is talk fairy to me and which book can that be in the month of january well take a guess because we're looking at the other items first first i see a candle prince card not exactly my cup of tea exclusive Prince Carden candle, which is themed after our book of the month. You'll get to know who Prince Carden is whilst you read. We asked Holly Black, and there <laughs> you already know now, we asked Holly Black what he would smell like and created his candle using the scents she provided. Doesn't smell amazing. Probably not the guy I would want to date, I don't know. Next I see a lip balm. This is the second time we have a lip balm in the Fairy Loot. Keep your lips moisturized with the exclusive Vegan Sealy and Unsealy lip balm created for you by Geeky Clan. We send out two variations. Are you part of the Sealy or Unsealy? I'm Unsealy. According to folklore, the Sealy cord is seen as the light side, whereas the Unsealy cord are seen as the dark side. Although both do like to play their tricks on mortals. Well, I am not offended by being affiliated with the dark side. This is beautiful. Only you can decide what breaks you. So this is a beautiful pillowcase. Really nice quality. I do like this a lot. And this month we are so excited to include an exclusive What Breaks You pillowcase. This pillowcase was designed for you exclusively by Evie Bookish and it features a quote from Quarter Wings and Ruin by Sarah J. Maas, one of our favorite books with fairies. This quote also reminds us of Jude, the main character in our featured book of the month. The pillowcase is 18 by 18, perfect for your reading note. Oh my god, these are amazing. Yes. I'm living for this. <laughs> Keep your pages marked with the super cute exclusive Illyrian magnetic bookmarks brought to you by Dreamy & Co. The little characters are Farrah and Ryson from the Court of Thorns and Roses trilogy. They're wearing their Illyrian fighting leathers. This is so freaking cute and I do love magnetic bookmarks. I'm loving this box already. A coloring book, Fairyland and it's foiled, which I like. This is interesting, so for somebody who likes to color. This is nice. I think I will include this in next month's giveaway. Coloring in is so calming and what is more fun than coloring in creatures that you may find in Fairyland. This Fairyland coloring book is brought to you by Michael Mara and this edition was made exclusively for Fairyland so you won't be able to get it anywhere else. Which creature are you most excited to color? Oh yes. I'm still living for it. <laughs> this box is really really great. We have Included two stunning art prints to add to your wall. They're both reversible. Woohoo! 
on one side you'll find beautiful artwork by Diana Wark of Ronan and Aileen from Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas, two of our favorite fairies. On the other side you'll find two stunning text illustrations by Stella's bookish art featuring quotes from books with lots of fairies by Julie. Again with the names, please apologize. My pronunciation of names. Julie Kagawa and Cassandra Clare. These prints are also exclusive. I love this. We all tell the truth as we see it, do we not? Cassandra Clare. I think this is going up my wall. Do not lose your heart to a fairy prince. It never ends well. Julie Kagawa. Oh yeah, well that's true I guess. And beautiful art prints as well. So let's get to the book of the month. We have the bookmark with the print from this month's theme. Then we have another art print and here's the book. Surprise, surprise, it's The Cruel Prince by Holly Black and this is a hardcover. And we get a signed book plate. This is really neat. I do like how this is done. He signed a book plate and a letter from the author. Our featured book of the month is a dark and decadent treat filled with fairies, mystery and mayhem. The Cruel Prince by Holly Black is an absolute gem and will have you flying through the pages. We hope you enjoy the signed book plate and author letter from Holly and the exclusive Prince card and character artwork illustrated for you by Merwild. Flyer with an interview with the author inviting us to a fairy chat on Twitter. Some suggestions what to read next if you like this book and info on what's going to be in the next box all in all so far already i am loving this box i think this might be one of my favorites and i'm just wondering how often i do say that i just love these freaking boxes so much let's get to the ratings beauty outer box design yes Inside the box design, yes. Main item is wrapped uh, or boxed, yes. Spoiler card design gets a point and design of other material, counting the bookmark and the flyer gets a point as well. That is five out of five points for beauty. Being special, special goodies like gets a point, ads and add-ons, like non-material extra, like chapters, promo items. Well, yes, if you count the bookmark. Exclusively designed, crafted main product. This one was not exclusive, although a fairy loot often does have like exclusive covers. This one was not. Other more exclusive items, yes. Exclusive services like chat with the author, yes. That is four out of five stars for being special. Unique selling point, well working or unique concept, yes. Second point for unique concept, no, it is not really that unique. Challenges, contests and raffles. So in the past there was always like a photo challenge announced. I think it was also announced in the flyer. Let's say yes. Information about the content is well done. Yes. Social media activity. Yes. And that is four out of five stars. This box is killing it. Service. Shipping experience. The shipping experience was good enough for me, but I do live in Europe. If you live outside of Europe, uh, let me just know what your shipping experience with this box is, please, so I can include that in my next boxes rating. Um, is it cheaper if we commit to three months or six months or so on? No. Mail info about renewal and shipping. No. Keep in mind that sometimes I might get mails, from the carrier but I cannot always connect the carrier to the box because the carrier simply says well there's Harry, there's a box coming and doesn't tell me where that box is from so I can't tell you if there is an info can you pause the subscription so you cannot skip a month which does make me wonder what benefit do I have for, from like a three or a six month subscription. It's not cheaper. Um, Cancelling, I cannot skip a month if I know, like this time I knew that I was getting like at least the Cruel Prince twice in two different boxes and I would want to skip one of the boxes because 
I do get the book already. If I cannot skip any of the boxes um, and I can't cancel, I'm stuck with the same book. I don't get the benefit of three or six months subscriptions if it's not cheaper and you can't skip or like anything. So I, I don't know why I should commit to the box that long. Other outstanding customer service experience. Can you influence the box content? No. Originality, exclusivity, uh, yes. Um, expectation, it did meet my expectations. Usability of items, well, candle, bath, bookmark, lip balm, yes. And now let's look at the worth rating. So after calculating up all the items that were in the box, I am coming to, I think, what is the best worth rating I have had in a box so far. Because for the locals, like in Great Britain, this box has, has a worth rating of two. I think one of the items that is most responsible for it is the pillowcase, which is a really, really high quality. And I found other pillowcases by this person for around I think 20 euros coloring the exclusive coloring book I think the only thing that is exclusive is the name you can find pretty much the exact same thing for 10 great British pounds so um, there were several items in here that were adding quite a good bit to the worth I do think that this is a really amazing worth rating even for people that are not in the UK so this box is as amazing as I felt. Altogether, we get to 19 points, which is a four star rating. This box is a very, very good example that a five star rating is almost impossible to reach. I mean, this box truly was amazing and just hit several categories like amazing really really amazing box top notch very very happy with it i will have one copy of this definitely going into this month's giveaway so make sure to check that out please remember to subscribe before you leave if you haven't done so already and i'll see you at my next unboxing bye